guys, Kelly here again from Kells Aquariums. Been a little while. Have you been watching my last video? Well, if you watched my last video, it was Goodbye Lido or something like that. You'll have heard me say I was getting a new tank. Well, it's arrived and so is all the other kit. So I ordered an Aqua One Aqua Vogue 245. And we're going to have a look around this Aqua One Ocelaris 850, which comes with it. Not sure I'm going to use it on the tank. Maybe will. Might not. I've, say I've got a few canisters. I've got a JBL 1501, which I've used before and I like. And I, the, the one currently running on the tank is an EIM Pro 4 350. And the one coming off the other tanks, I say this is replacing two tanks, is a Eco Pro he ham. So I've got plenty of already sorted out filters what are fully running. But I ain't opened this yet, so this could be real messy. Don't know what's gonna happen when we start messing about with this. Could be out here, could just be full of bricks. <sighs> we'll have a bit of a look around the packaging and then we're gonna have a look at putting it together. So I've got a box of strainer and suction cups that I'm just going to put it on the floor so it's not in my light. Um, now we've got the actual pipe connectors from the top. Yeah. Um, it's very standard. You know, just some pipes with uh, screws on and that stops the water flowing so do with that and then you can take it off or just do with that I assume it's that way around that'll stop the water and that one will let you actually take them off for cleaning so that's them and that's what was in that box got another box Don's Lacerre which is all taped up so I've brought a knife let's not mess about So what we have, oh, 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 now, that's everything, it is a 6, no, it's a 12 by 16 pipe, so it's only small piping, it, as I say, it's only an 850 litre an hour um, filter, so it's not got the big pipes, so the big pipes would be 1622s, which is what my EM, EM is and my JBL, but this is the same as the JBL 850 as well, they're this size pipe, so yeah, 16mm outer and like 12 inner. So, for people who already have those pipe work set up, if you wanted to add a different filter, you could just, if you, as long as you've got your pipe work already set up, here. Ooh, like a duck bill outflow thing. Ah, oh, these are nice, loads of corners loads of uh, pre-made corners with adapters so they'll go in the pipe and you can just uh, pull off. Oh no actually, Ooh. yeah so they'll just fit in your pipe work as corners. These are if you are using, I don't know why you'd use little corners on big pipe but they're adapters so that that would fit in a 16 by 22 which is cool I suppose if you're into that. So yeah, a couple of them. Got two corners. Small piece, what I assume also fits into them. Oh wait a minute. Oh I'm getting it, I get it. I know the corners, I know what we're doing. We're back. Oh that's actually I like that. So, for your spray bars and everything, that's what goes into these. And then you get bits and bobs so you could oh I can build some amazing. <coughs> so yeah, I can there for attaching these pipes together without having to use a piece of hose. Which, to be fair, is pretty cool because EAM, which are expensive filters, you have to cut a piece of hose to actually attach all your bits of stuff together. Aqua One are giving you little gaskets to do it. And they only push in so far because they've got a stop. Oh, they're pretty good. So, yeah, so you've got a spray bar attachment, like a duck bill, you know, will swell the water around. Actually, quite like that. Loads of bits and bobs. You get two intakes for some crazy reason. But, you know, it's fine. I suppose one's an intake and the other one 
is if you're using that crazy duckbill action would come up the back and sort of go in your tank like so yeah there we go I know I sorry I've been a, I've been a jet so yeah one's an intake and the other one is your your outflow anyway pipe work over I actually don't want to look in the filter at some point and you get two decent sized bits of pipe I would imagine they're one and a half to two meters a pop and throw some stuff in the deck I'm just going to put all these little adapters back on because I'm fully going to lose them if I don't. Hey, okay, there goes the couple of you. So, the loss now, it doesn't even matter anymore. <laughs> right, so this is all that's left. It's a filter that. It's, a, it's, a, it's an odd set of colours. <laughs> but yeah, it's telling me it's quick release, easy start, all the usual stuff. It's got a three year warranty on it. It's for, allegedly, for 150 to 250 litre aquariums. Now that's very dependent on stocking. <laughs> Telling you now, on an 850 litre one, I won't want to run this on a 200 litre fancy goldfish tank with a few of them in. A 250 litre fancy goldfish tank, you could probably put four decent, four full sars in there, and I won't want to run this little filter for them. I'll tell you that. <laughs> so, what we have, it's light as a feather. I'm not sure there is much in it. What have we got here? Excellent. Apparently this is the... Oh, come on. Now that's for priming. So you get your little prime pump. I don't know what that side is. I'll have a look. But let's open it up. It's got standard clips. Get it off. Ooh. Oh jeez. Right, so. There's one thing I don't mind. I don't like either though. From the start. If you want to clean the head screws which isn't a bad thing really but a lot of them are twist offs and pull offs these days but you've got a couple of screws to open there to get your impeller but that's not it's not the end of the world i mean you shouldn't be cleaning your impeller every week you know every couple of months should probably do you want an impeller but yeah very standard this is where this fits yeah so that goes in. So that would stop water. If you wanted to take it out, you go, oh, it clicks, it clicks in and clicks out quite nice. So it's quite, you know, you know you're doing it. Yeah, so that's your head, and then obviously your, your pram pump is there. It's like oxygen on camera. Oh, now my phone's ringing. Click! Oh, obviously, they're ruining the day. Oh, no, wait, I don't even know how to answer my own phone. Right, that's a full click on that. That's gone. So, <laughs> sorry about that. So what we have is we have a tray at the top. Ooh, and they're all attached together. Nice little baskets. Decent size. Plenty of media. Oh yeah, so all your baskets click together with these little clips. So, the first one. A filter floss to polish. And just a standard coarse sponge, a black coarse sponge. So, so it's all the water's obviously. Let me just show you. So, when it's running, that's salmonella app with these other bits. The water's coming in, going down this pipe here, and it's going all the way down to the bottom. And there'll be a, yeah, there's a gap at the bottom of about that big. Water's in there, and then it's getting sucked back up through all the baskets. So, it's going from bottom to top. So the fact, let's let's do it in order. Let's do it in the order the water goes. Let's not mess it up. So the first thing it hits when it's coming back up is it hits you a big coarse blue coarse sponge. It's all good. I like coarse sponge. Good for good for catching big muck and also if you are if you aren't catching much muck in it and it's filthy, you'll get a lot of good bacteria in these coarse sponges. There is some some wacky. It's probably sounds like scented glass. Just bear with me. What does it say? Is it done? I will put that in in a sec. I've never seen that before. No, it is it's it, no, it's just ceramics. I can fit. Yeah, it's just chips of ceramic media. They'll do well, you know. Loads of just chips, ceramic media chips. You put them on top of there, so it goes through a car sponge. 
he goes through all this madness, catches more muck, then you throw another big blue coarse sponge, and then you throw some actual rings, but they're not... I'll, I'll actually show you these at the end, I'll take one out and put it near the camera. But yeah, they're actually shaped ceramic media. So they're like a, a flower shape, if you imagine, you know, like the leaves of a flower, but with a hole right through. And then that's your biological. And then, as I said before, you want a big another coarse black sponge to get any other muck on. I mean, it's maybe not as coarse, that's maybe a medium sponge. Yeah, it is anyway, it's not as coarse. That's a medium sponge, that'll get you some good bacteria on it, and then you've got a filter, a good, a solid inch thick filter, bit of filter floss to polish your water. Yeah, and that's that. So there is, just let me get these out of the way. There is a bit of a, I don't know if you can see, there's a black thing in the bottom. That makes sure you can only put the, the crate, the, baskets in the correct way because there's a groove cut out of them all so you can't get this wrong really and then when you're putting the lid back on there's only one place the lid can go the, with a motor and a pump so that big orange bit has to go through here so yeah that's actually pretty much it so let me put this back let me just build her up again no, only the top one seems to have an amble law. Strange. In fact, I understand why. You meant to build it all, because they all clip together, you build it back together here, don't you? Of course you do. It'd be madness to do it any other way. So, yeah, you build. Once you've cleaned it all, it's not ideal when they're in a bag. So you build it. In fact, I'm keeping that bag out, I'm going to show you it anyway. So. You uh, put them all on, click them all together, and then obviously the top one's a basket, so you can just put them all in, and see, match this big gap here, down the side, and it slots in, sits nice, put your handle down, you know, strainer on the top, like that, party bush, and then that goes in, in the hole. That's the all where I come from. And then you would lock it all back together, opposite corners, bit of a pram. And then fire it up when your water's all flooding. I actually I'm not I like this. I like this a lot. I don't know what it's showing me on the back, it's showing me oh no, that's alright. That's showing you on the back <laughs> where that you've got to put all the gaps together so it actually slides down that slot. I was wondering what the difference was, but it's just they've put some lines in different places. But yeah, that is a, it's a nice little filter. I take it back, you know, when I said I probably aren't going to use it. I probably am now. I want to have a go on it. So when I set my tank up, that's going to go. So let's just have a bit of a, a bit of a go on this centered glass. Oh, it's dusty. It's coming round. So let's not mess about. So that's the centered glass media that they've got. So it's that shape, Cin it's, sorry, it's either centered glass or ceramics, I'll put it in the, it seems like ceramic though, I keep saying centered glass, but it's, I think it's a ceramic media. But yeah, hollow with a bit of an hole in the middle and a nice shape. So, there we have it. Aqua One's Ocelaris 850. Thanks for watching. Bye.